Today we're going to be printing your Pronto plates. So the first thing you need to do to set up your space is grab a sheet of tin foil and some masking tape and tape all four sides down to the table. One of your hands is going to get pretty messy with the oil-based ink. So you want to wear a glove on usually whichever hand you write with. I'm left-handed, so I'm going to put the glove on my left hand. That's the same hand I'm going to use the brayer with. And my ink is going to go on the left side. If you're right-handed, you may want to do all of these things on the right side of your tin foil. So I have my ink set up on one side, only a very tiny amount, and I'm going to use the other side for my Pronto plate. I need a cup of water with a little squirt of gum arabic in it. Gum arabic comes from a tree and it's often used as a glue, you an edible glue even. If you've ever licked an envelope or a postage stamp, you are probably licking gum arabic. We are not going to put this gum arabic in our mouth today, but we are going to use it to help sort of glue the water to our plate. We're not really gluing it, but the gum arabic is going to help the plate stay wet while we're rolling up that oil-based ink over it. And what we want is the plate to stay wet, but the Sharpie to have the water bead off of it so that the oil will stick to the Sharpie or the ballpoint pen or the crayon or whatever it is that you use to make your image. So let me explain that again. The Sharpie is waterproof. So the water won't stick to the Sharpie, but it is sort of sticking to the rest of the plate thanks to the gum Arabic helping us out. So now when we roll up the oil-based ink, the oil won't stick to the water. The plate's covered in water, so the oil won't stick to the water, but it will stick to the Sharpie because the Sharpie doesn't have the water on it anymore. So now that my plate is wet, I've started to build up the ink over my drawing. Since my drawing was red, it's gonna be a little bit easier to see when it's really coated with black ink. Now you're gonna to need to go back and forth about three or four times. So get the plate wet, roll it up with ink, get the plate wet again, roll it up with a new layer of ink until you have three or four really good layers and then you'll be ready to print. When you're ready to print, open up your little felt blankets and move your plate over. We're actually gonna be using dry paper today Sometimes when I print larger, I use, I have better luck with wet paper, but with a little image this size, the dry paper has been working just fine. So lay your paper on top, close over the felt, and you'll notice that it's stitched together at one side. The stitching side is the side that we're gonna run through your press. Open it up, and there is your first print. Let's see how it looks. Not too bad. Sometimes the first print comes out a little bit light and your second one is going to come out darker, but I think that one is going to work just fine. We're going to end up hand coloring these with watercolors. So as a first image, that one looks great. So put your plate right back where you got it from and get it wet and roll it up with ink again. We're going to see if you can make four really good prints today. Good luck with that. This is really one of my favorite forms of printmaking, so I hope you guys have some fun with this. <laughs>